Hi everyone, welcome back to another Markets Menu. It's Larissa Takshi from MasterChef 2019 and I'm back in the Patty's Kitchen in Haymarket and I'm going to show you guys one of my amazing salads to make for autumn, my baked brie and Whitloff salad with a gorgeous date relish. Okay, so baked brie and Whitloff salad. Ooh, some Whitloff. This looks amazing. My gosh, there's so much here in Patty's Market. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is bake our brie. I've just got myself here a baking tray. I've lined that with some baking paper as well. So if you bake this brie at 180 degrees for seven to 10 minutes, you're gonna get a melted brie, but it's not gonna be oozing out onto the plate, right? But we want this bad boy to ooze. So we gotta cook this between 15 to 20 minutes. That way when I cut open to this brie, it's gonna ooze out and melt out on the plate and it's gonna almost create its own little dressing for the salad. Onto the baking tray. I'm gonna pop this into the oven for about 15 minutes. Right, so I've got the brie in the oven and now I'm gonna work on the date relish. I've already chopped these dates. As you can see, they're just roughly chopped, nothing too crazy. And that just goes straight into our bowl here. Right, so I've got some fresh coriander as well. I've chopped that roughly and that goes into the bowl. Coriander adds that sort of freshness to this relish because it is quite rich and quite sweet. And speaking of sweet, I'm adding some preserved lemon to also break up the sweetness. So roughly chopped rind only. Pop of color in there. So now I've got some spices here. I've got a mix here of ground coriander and ground cumin seeds. I just want a pinch of this. I don't want to overpower it with spice. I've got some green chilies here. I'm gonna add that to our relish. If you like it really spicy, keep the seeds in. If you like it super hot, then feel free to add red chilies. But if you don't like too much spice, just scrape them out. I like spice, so I'm gonna keep the seeds in. Right, we're just gonna add half a lemon juice. Beautiful lemon, I love lemon. Perfect, so that looks good. And this is a really great condiment to have just in your fridge. I love this stuff on ricotta, or on some toast, or a chicken salad even. It's just really delicious. And of course, we need to add our seasoning to bring all of our flavors out. So a good, generous pinch of that. I just like sea salt because it's a really nice flavor. It's not too salty, and it's a really good seasoning salt. And just have a look at this, you guys. All the different colors in there. You've got the sweet from the dates, the acidity from the lemons, fresh from the coriander. Yum. Look at that beautiful date relish. Now we're gonna check up on our brie. It should be done now. Oh, this looks amazing. You can see that it's starting to melt. You see that it's melted just by touching the cheese. So we're gonna plate this up. Uh, just using a flat spatula, we're gonna use that to carefully lift the cheese up from the parchment paper and straight onto your platter. Perfect. So just really quickly, we've got some Whitloff. Separate the leaves into little cups. When you serve this to your dinner guests, they can use the cup to scrape up the cheese and the date relish. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. Now onto our plate, we've got our Whitloff. Just scatter all around. I just find this a really exciting dish to serve at your next dinner party. I think people are gonna go crazy for this salad. It is so impressive. Now for the rest of the plating up, we're gonna add our beautiful date relish that we've made here, right into your little lettuce cups. Just spread it all around, guys. See, those lettuce cups are really working its magic, holding all those flavors in. Let's go in with a bit of salt as well, because seasoning is always important. So let's season that with sea salt again. And because this is in season, we are using some watercress to garnish. This is looking absolutely amazing. Wow, that was so easy to whip up. I bet you cannot wait to try this one out. So this is my baked brie and Whitlock salad for today's market menu. Everything here that you see on this plate, guys, was straight from Patty's Markets. So of course, it is super fresh and super tasty. And for you guys to get this recipe, visit pattysmarkets.com.au. Please have a try and enjoy.